Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing video. This is the Spark OS based on Android 13. Let me show you its details. And uh, here we have it. As you can see here, this is based on the Android 13. And they have not mentioned any version of Spark OS. And it is uh, here we have the version. It is the 13.3 uh, version and uh, it is available for three devices Redmi Note 11, Poco F3 and Redmi Note 10 and for some devices it is unofficial or for some devices it is official as you can see here for my Redmi Note 11 it is unofficial build so in this video I will be showing you its full review and I will also show you how you can install it on your uh, Redmi and Poco phones so without any further ado let's get started before starting the video make sure to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates so first of all let's talk about its stability the ROM is pretty much stable there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM everything is just working fine mobile data Wi-Fi Bluetooth hotspot everything is working and maybe Wu Wi-Fi is also working I cannot test it out because Wu Wi-Fi is not available in my country so first of all let's talk, uh, start from the camera and uh, in this ROM here we have the Gcam mode pre-installed right here as you can see here here we have the photo mode portrait mode here we also have the filters and here we have the video mode right here portrait mode is also available you can use the ultra wide mode as well so isn't it a good feature and here we have the full option uh, to switch to any sensor like here we have the ultra wide right here and then we have this macro right here and I don't know why this is in black and white maybe because of the light condition and then we have the video and you can also use any sensor any camera sensor as well in the video and you can edit it out the settings right from here you can enable the flash grid and uh, by the way this is a Gcam Go version and you can also customize the settings you can enable or disable the HDR flash night mode and you can edit the settings as well right here so this is a good camera uh, for our uh, mobile phones so it is better than other OSIP based uh, simple cameras after it the overall performance of this ROM is pretty much stable as you can see here the app opening speed of this ROM is pretty much good and it is responding pretty much quickly as you can see here the animations are also played very well and uh, from the left you can access the Google app and uh, in the home screen here we have some settings like icon settings home page setting app drawer settings and recent setting from here you can also enable some quick actions like screenshot lens and clear all at the bottom of the recents and then we have the misc and uh, in the misc we don't have any option to hide or protect the applications so it's a negative point so after it here we have the widgets you can add a lot of widgets to your home screen to customize it out then we have wallpaper and style from here you can change the wallpaper here we have spark collection space strain dimension unsplash elementary a lot of wallpapers are available you can enable or disable the dark theme you can enable themed icons and you can also change the app grid if we talk about the applications we don't get a lot of junky applications pre-installed uh, here we have the simple and Google applications pre-installed which are necessary like here we have the FM radio Google camera drive and we also have the game space here we have the old settings and uh, we don't have the recorder pre-installed in this room and we also don't have the audio effects and uh, here I, I also had run a Geekbench test on my Redmi Note 11 and here's the score it is scored 385 on single core and it scored 16.53 on multi-core so these are pretty much impressive uh, scores for the multi-core isn't it good for Redmi Note 11 now let's go into the settings and have a look on the customizations first of all the quick settings just looks like typical so other than that here we have connectivity options fireworks and here we have the all available customizations first of all here we have themes and from here you can uh, change the monet color as well then you can change the phone style then you can change the icon pack signal icon pack wi-fi shape icon navbar style and after it here we have the main menu layout you can set it to osip 
Oxygen OS 11, 12, Spark, Spark Clean. Let's try Spark Clean. It will restart the UI. And as you can see here, it just looks pretty much cool now. Then we have other options, hide labels and uh, some brightness slider settings. You can also change its position, QS panel settings and uh, animation settings and some other volume panel styles are available right here. After it here we have a uh, display. In the display we have all usual settings. Then we have the uh, dark theme. You can adjust the size of display. You can also make the text bold and high contrast. Then we have wallpaper zoom effect, small as width. And here we have night mode, night light, which is working fine. And uh, after it here we have live display. You can change the color profiles as well. Here we have auto rotation. And here we also have the smooth display option, which will automatically raise the refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz for some content like scrolling on social media or while playing games. It is pretty much helpful if your uh, display is supported by 90 hertz or 120 hertz. Then we have tap to wake, prevent accidental wake up, and uh, we don't have any option to set up maximum or minimum refresh rate in this room, but still we have the smooth display option. Then we have wallpaper and style apps. Here we have the all available applications, notifications, battery. The battery backup of this room is pretty much impressive. Here we have the battery usage, battery saver, we don't have extreme battery saver, adaptive battery, idle battery and you can also note the other battery information like temperature and capacity etc. Then we have storage, sound and vibration. In the sound and vibration here we have smart pause option, adaptive sound option, maybe it will increase the sounding quality and other than that here we have the Dolby Atmos pre-installed right here. So it's a plus point and here we have in-call vibrations right here then we have utilities lock screen and security and in the lock screen here we have all available security options uh, like lock screens are working face unlock is available and you can also use the fingerprint so no need to be worried about the security options then we have privacy location safety emergency digital well-being google account system and in the system we have languages and input and live translate and here we have some gestures like other Android 13 based ROMs. And here we have the playback controls, swipe three finger screenshot, one handed mode, which is working fine. And uh, double tap to check is also available. As you can see here, let's check it out. And it is working. It pretty much looks like always on display. Oh, it's Spark OS version is 13.3. And its Android version is 13. Security patch is also all the way latest, 5 December 2022. And the ROM is pretty much stable. There is no any single bug or issue in this ROM. Yes, you can use it as your daily driver. So if you want to install this ROM on your Redmi uh, Note 11, Redmi Note 10 or Poco F3, then the download link and installation instructions are available in the description box. Go and follow them and you will be able to install this on your Redmi or Poco devices and uh, hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace